Yes, and then I discovered and uh, it was a white phosphor. Большое интервью. So on that time I told them this is white phosphor because I have seen that before. And I know how it looks like. Актуальный разговор на актуальную тему с актуальным гостем. The basics treatment it was not available the sulfadiene and Большое интервью. Also, I want to thank a lot of doctors who did a lot of work for the soldiers that nobody said thank you for them, who was the people working behind. And these people we should thank, not the people who was in the front only. There's a lot of people who worked behind, but nobody, they are the silent soldiers, let's say. Актуальные вопросы задает Марина Галуян. And in one week, Rafi was here, and immediately from the airport to the operating room, he didn't go even to the hotel. To stay and he started 24 hours treatment washing the bodies uh, cleaning the white phosphor from the bodies hello um, at a big interview today uh, my guest is uh, the doctor from Lebanon's um, Fuat Reda hello hello how are you Fine, thanks, and thank you for the invitation for the uh, second time uh, after Thank you time. too. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Re Reda, I just want to, to understand who, uh, what are you doing now in Armenia and how you can come to us. Thank you. Um, now I'm still working here uh, as an aesthetic surgeon in uh, Aja Pernyak Medical Center. Um, yeah, I like to to I like here almost I have four years uh, living in uh, Yerevan it's like my second uh, country let's say after Lebanon and I'm enjoying here somehow for mm -hmm. continuing my life so I don't know the future next what, where I'm going I don't know but for now I'm here So I know that uh, after war in Erzach, uh, you help our so soldiers after white uh, phosphor burned. Yes. Uh, so I just want to remind uh, Azerbaijan did use phosphorus in Artsakh. The state authorities of Armenia and Artsakh reported in late October that the, during war in Artsakh, the Azerbaijan side used munitions containing elements of chemical weapons, white phosphorus which are banned by international convention. The Defense Army uh, also published uh, some uh, videos. So, I just want to understand uh, how you help to our soldiers after phosphor. Uh, in that time, I get a call from our friends in the U.S., uh, Lebanese Armenians and uh, some Armenians in the diaspora, asking me to uh, go and check in the burn center in that time and... Um, Uh, how we can help them, what is the issue, and uh, so on that day I contact some doctors in the burn center and I went there to visit and then I discovered and uh, it was a white phosphor. I don't know if they knew about it or not, but I didn't think in that time that they knew that this is white phosphor. They know that there is some burns and it was a critical burns and uh, they were treating the patients and they did a lot of things but it didn't work out much uh, they were doing some skin grafting the grafting is coming necrosed and it's not mm -hmm. working and um, so on that time i told them this is white phosphor because i have seen that before and i know how it looks like uh, from my experience in lebanon uh so uh that time i contact my colleagues again and um, contact my friend uh, he's a burn surgeon dr uh, rafi barsomian um, and then i told them listen uh, we don't have time you have to come as soon as possible and we have to do something and also the basics treatment it was not available the sulfadiene and i um, told them also they sent all the materials, all the burn treatments uh, within one week. It was from, here uh, from, US. from US and yeah. from Iran, not only from US. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I, I contact my colleague from Iran. They sent it right away within 48 hours that sulfadiene was here and they, I gave it to the burn center so they start the treatments. Plus, in one week, 
uh, they send a dermatome, the, the, some instruments, also medications, treatments, painkillers, everything from US, from the, from the, our colleagues there. And in one week, Rafi was here, and immediately from the airport to the operating room, he didn't go even to the hotel to stay. And he started 24 hours treatment, washing the bodies, uh, cleaning the white phosphor from the bodies because it have a special way of treatment for the white phosphor. If you don't re remove it, it will stay in the skin and mm -hmm. it have a long uh, way of treatment and effect on the body because it will still burning as long as it's exposed to the air and exposed to the mm -hmm. uh, oxygen, let's say. So if you don't remove it, it's still burning it until it reaches the bones. So that's why, and even some people, they have a long way of treatment because it causes also cancer, it causes lungs cancer, liver cancer, skin cancer. So uh, that's why we, we needed to do as fast as we can to treat and to wash these people. And I get some from other colleagues, uh, pressure, water, mm -hmm. to, to uh to clean mm -hmm. and remove the white fossil with a scalpel because we don't have the water scalpel so we had to, we had to use the normal scalpel mm -hmm. just to remove and scalp mm -hmm. all the white phosphors so it was a very hard time but we yeah. did what we can do so i i don't know you know but uh, some uh, our soldiers are waiting for to the treatment and uh, what uh, will happen if uh, they not um, uh, take the first aid after a white phosphor. Uh, look, when is the person is exposed to the white phosphor, um, the first step he should be treated in spot, on the place yeah. to be washed, to remove all his clothes, not to keep his clothes on. Everything should be. He should be naked. Mm -hmm. And he should be washed very well before they transfer him to the hospital or to the treatment place. Yeah. So that's why we have the yellow zone, green zone, and red zone. Mm -hmm. So first, when they come to the yellow zone where they can identify and do the uh, triage, which they can say, this is needed treatment, this is can go to the operating room, this is, sorry, he's dead, let's put him in the side. So in that time, they should wash the people before they transfer them. So that's why the problem occurred and happened when they transfer all the soldiers directly to Yerevan without any treatment on spot there. Mm -hmm. So that's why they get infected and yeah. they get burned mm -hmm. and severe burns. So that's why they were the, the, the white phosphor powder was still active on their body. Even if you... Uh, How long uh, treatment? Oh, treatment is a long way of treatment. Mm -hmm. There is immediate treatment, which if it burns, you should treat it with a sulfadiene, mm -hmm. sulfate. And it have a special wash. It have to be done on a daily basis. And the long way of treatment, if they have a severe burns, mm -hmm. it's a long way of treatment. It take years. So uh, they can do it uh, themselves in uh, their house or just in hospital? Too? Uh, you mean after the post of treatment the first time yeah. in the hospital? It can be done at home if they get uh, well. I mean, they get treated the first in the hospital, mm -hmm. yes. But what I mean is this kind of burn is not an easy to be treated. It's have a long way and very hard way. And it's uh, cost, uh, is it uh, this treatment is very cost? Uh, yes, yes, it is. And because there is a special gloves they sh if the burns in the hands let's say there's a special gloves mm -hmm. special tension gloves they have to wear special uh, mm -hmm. corsets they have to wear and this is very expensive actually in that time i remember uh, rafi he was struggling to get it from us and it cost yeah. every one gloves like 50 dollar mm -hmm. so uh, it have a lot of cost yes uh so i know that you are very honest um, people Thank you. Uh, and I just want uh, to um, know your opinion about uh, the health system in Armenia. What uh, you think about Look, it? Ev every country, it have uh, some minus uh, points and some positive points. But 
I believe now that the health system is developing. It started to be developed after the war. Uh, it's need time uh, to be uh, to the level of the accreditations and standards international. Uh, I believe that a lot of things it should be changed in the hospitals to a better uh, hospitality, uh, beds, uh, rooms. You know, if you go and visit the hospitals, you will understand that this is not the atmosphere for the patient to stay in. Mm -hmm. So it's need a lot of changes. I believe that the ministry is working on that and are trying to develop that. Hopefully it would not take long time, but hopefully it will be soon. Uh, some of the health systems, it will be changed in Armenia. Um, not just in Armenia, but um, maybe everywhere doctors uh, say that they don't um, take some good uh, money from the job and uh, that's why they don't want to work hardly. How is your opinion about this? Uh, yeah, Germany? this is, uh, you know, um, the payments for doctors here in Armenia is totally different from other, other countries. For example, I will tell you in Lebanon, we have a system. We have the uh, uh, ICD-10 system. We, we work on it. We have the codes for every surgery. So if you go to any hospital, it's the same price. Mm -hmm. It's not difference from hospital to hospital for the same procedure. So we have like the ka, and every ka is like, it have an amount. So if you do surgery, you get 60 ka, you get 40 ka, you get 80 ka, 90 ka, it depends on the procedure what yeah. you are doing. So mm -hmm. they earn good money. But here, yes, there is something should be changed to be better for the doctors. So we don't lose the good doctors in Armenia, they go to outside. So we need to keep them here, but we need to change a little bit the, the way of, uh, um, the treatment, the, I mean, the communication uh, with between the hospitals and the doctors. Yeah. So I just want to ending our con conversation with positive uh, things. So what you like in Armenia and uh, what you didn't like at all, please? Uh, I cannot say that what I didn't like. It's something personal, but I like a lot of good things. The attitude, I mean, the... the um, Hospitality of uh, the people, yeah. which is, I like it. Uh, the country, the atmosphere in the country, safety. You can go outside at midnight, you can walk, that nobody can say anything to you or harm you. Um, things, mentality of people should be a little bit changed to be better, especially for the tourist who's coming to Armenia, there should be more hospitality with the tourists because these people who is bringing the income and the money and uh, to Armenia. So that's why we should it should be a little bit change to yeah. better to better way. But I like it overall. I like it in Armenia. I have a lot of good friends. I have mm -hmm. a lot of good colleagues, and I want to say hello to all my friends in Ajapinyak Medical Center who opened the way for me, and they. Um, uh, they absorb me as I am, and they take me as I am. As a Lebanese doctor, there is no difference between me, me and any other person in the hospital. Uh, this is the first hospital, actually, I see that they have a respect for human. Yeah. So that's why I love it. And mm -hmm. thank you very much, Dr. Manukian, for your, uh, that you opened the door for me there. And I hope that I can stay in Armenia mm -hmm. to help other people to develop the health system also, and viva Armenia. Thank you, Reda, for the interesting conversation, and uh, I just want uh, to say thank you for thank our you helping to our soldiers. It's good job, thank you very much. Also, I want to thank a lot of doctors who did a lot of work for the soldiers that nobody said thank you for them who was the people working behind. And these people we should thank, not the people who was in the front only. There's a lot of people who worked behind, but nobody, they are the silent soldiers, let's say. And uh, I just want to say thanks for them also and for the, all the help. And thank you very much again. Thank you. Bye -bye.